M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So we've just carried out the modification. We've got the new board just here. I just thought I'd dive in and just, you know, I'm not a good solder, so stay confident. The hardest bit, yeah, was the smaller components, but if you really concentrate and you hold them with some tweezers while you solder, sort of hold them in place, bit of flux, and then just quickly dab with your soldering iron, and it worked. The, the larger components, which is, let's have a look, it is this actual area of soldering here. You don't touch this board, which is called the S14732-A10. And we're running the CEC 3 hf bin that you need to download from this link. Just scroll down in the description. Taking the radio out isn't hard. You literally just pull the knob off, take the antenna off, and then you lift from this end. There's no screws to take it apart. It looks quite cool, but look, if you look at the, everything's been fitted. We've got the resistor just here on the left, just to the left of the screen here. Just here, look. Okay, you put that on. You have to remove that screw. The board, I held it in place with actually with sellotape. You solder on this big area here, that's easy. These connections here, like I said, you don't touch this, you solder here. There's about five connectors here that you solder. Here, I know it looks messy, but it has worked. You remove a couple of components just here. The tiny one that's really awkward to solder in is just here. Yeah, and once you hold it with some snips, it's not too bad actually, it was easier than I expected. I did wire the speaker backwards, but it's correct now, so red on the right, black on the left. You also have to add a couple of wires, see there where it says, show you again, RES here and just further up there's a little wire that goes across you can just about see it to that capacitor and here just goes across and down to that capacitor now you think you know oh my god it's too hard i can't see but as long as you don't keep the heat on there for long you literally just put some flux on clean it up i've been using alcohol wipes you can literally buy 100 for like five pound clean it all up with that afterwards You've got your wires, you remove, like I said, you remove, there's a couple of components you do remove, which you can just sort of see here where they've been removed. And that's it. I mean, you're trying to think, have I forgotten anything? And, and put it all back together. It's so easy to dismantle and, and assemble. Remember your little black tab here, then you can slip it in here. It's easier if you take the battery off. Just slips in like so, you push it in clips into place. You don't have to put the screws on because they're actually underneath. Push hard, clip it into place, battery on, antenna on, the knob just slides on. So we need to charge the battery up. That's my hub net node. You watch it just key up there. Working well to get the HF mode. Hold down the F and you become this HF radio. Just flicking through and having a look what's here. It's a bit quiet, I'm not sure if I can amplify that. Lots of settings you can play with. See that, you push the zero, look. It goes from 10 to 17 meters. See it, lower frequency to 60 meters. Push it again. Got broadcast radio still. Do you 
suburbs are an important character in their own right. Changing mode by pressing the F, hold it down. Something more interesting. Press the exit, you become a normal dual bander again. That's my node. Bye for now, all the best.